Hi, I'm Jeannie with Creations by Jeannie, and today we're working with partridge and pears. And this is the card that I've designed. It's very basic and simple. I cut mine longwise. This says um, 11 by four and a quarter, and of course it's folded to five and a half by four and a quarter. The layers are a little bit different than how I would normally do them. The bottom mat layer is cut at five and three eighths by four and one eighth, and then the layer on top of that is cut at five and one eighths by three and seven eighths. And I will get this listed on my blog, and it should be. I'll put it on the bottom of the YouTube as well. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put, let's move this one out of the way. Let's get the next one set. Okay, and if my block looks icky, that's because it has glue on it, uh, Tombow, because you can see now my fingers are sticking. I've noticed that a lot of times my stamps will go to fall off, especially when I'm using Versamark ink, and so I put that on there so these won't fall off and mess up the card that I'm doing. See, I may accidentally get my head in this shot. to figure out which way I want this to go. We're going to put this over here. Okay, that looks pretty good. I want to make sure that everything, I can stamp it all at one time and everything is on there. So that works. All right, now that we've used our embossing buddy on here, I'm going to use Versamark ink. Hopefully you can see that. Got this all stamped up. I'm gonna set that aside. And I'm going to set that on top of this. This is the inside of the block case that this big block came out of, and it comes in pretty handy. Hopefully that stays. Okay. Now I'm stamping this down. It stayed, so I'm actually going to stick it down on the table real quick. Just to make sure I get a good impression there. Let's get that off. Yep. I don't know if y'all can see that. Can you see that? Versal mark image on there. Okay. Now, I am just going to take a sheet of paper. I'm going to slide it under. And we are using the, oh, you know what? And I have the wrong one. That's the white. Give it just a All right. I am using the gold embossing powder. And we're just going to sprinkle this on. That should be good. I don't have to close that yet. Should be good. Let's move it around. Make sure I get all the things. Okay. 
Okay, let me set that aside for just a second. Let's get all this excess back in. Alright, now we've got the embossing powder on. We've got to use the heat gun. I'm going to heat it a little bit first. Alright, now it's nice and warm. So kind of move it around. And if you can see that, how it just kind of magically turns colors. Hot on my fingers. All right, isn't that pretty? It's pretty just by itself. Can y'all see that? How pretty? We are going to. Get our card bases ready. We are going to use dimensionals on the back. It's cooled off. Let's see. Then I'm going to put two in the center to keep it from going down. Okay. My hands are still a bit shaky. Okay, so it should have about an eighth inch border all the way around. Okay, now more dimensionals on the back of this one. And again, I'm going to stick two kind of in the center there. Okay. Here's my card base. And again, this is going to have an eighth of an inch pretty much all the way around. Now, this is what I did was I took, this is in the Christmas um, holiday supplement catalog. I don't have mine handy. This is the Gold Glitz Dazzle Details. And I went and filled in. all the pairs
quarter and of course it's folded to five and a half by four and a quarter. The layers are a little bit different than how I would normally do them. The bottom mat layer is cut at five and three eighths by four and one eighth and then the layer on top of that is cut at five and one eighths by three and seven eighths and I will get this listed on my blog and it should be I'll put it on the bottom of the YouTube as well okay Hi, I'm Jeannie with Creations by Jeannie, and today we're working with Partridge and Pears, and this is the card that I've designed. It's very basic and simple. I cut mine longwise. This says um, 11 by 4 and a quarter. See, I may accidentally get my head in the shot. Got to figure out which way. I want this to go. We're going to put this over here. Okay, that looks pretty good. I want to make sure that everything. I can stamp it all at one time and everything is on there so that works all right now that we've used our embossing buddy on here I'm going to use Versamark ink hopefully you can the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put let's move this one out of the way let's get the next one set Okay, and if my block looks icky, that's because it has glue on it, uh, Tombow, because you can see now my fingers are sticking. I've noticed that a lot of times my stamps will go to fall off, especially when I'm using Versamark ink, and so I put that on there so these won't fall off and mess up the card that I'm doing. 